Just days until school starts in Chicago and bus companies are scrambling to find drivers to get your kids to school. Even extra incentives aren't helping fill the need. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey spent the day searching for solutions parents will need come Monday. Unfortunately, there's no single solution that's going to fix the bus driver shortage here in Chicago and across the country, but we're looking into plenty of options that can help. There has to be a significant paradigm shift in how uh, students are accessing school. That's Dr. Pia Siraj, director of the Urban Transportation Center at UIC's main takeaway after reviewing the numbers for us. As of August 16th, Chicago Public Schools tell us they have 681 yellow school bus drivers, just slightly over half of the 1,300 bus drivers they need to support transportation for the estimated 17,000 CPS students who are eligible for transportation. Increasing bus driver pay from 15 to $20 an hour to 20 to $25 an hour hasn't done enough to close the gap. So what will? It's got to be a combination of um, walking to school, biking to school, maybe carpooling kids to school. Uh, many different solutions have to be explored together. Hop, skip, drive is one company that helps connect school districts to those other solutions. Unfortunately, what Chicago Public Schools is seeing is, is what school districts across the country are seeing. Joanna McFarland is the company's CEO and co-founder and says their latest nationwide survey suggests driver shortages have actually gotten worse. 92% of school leaders surveyed reported their operations are hurt by driver shortages compared with 88% last year and 78% in 2021. One way to help? We bring drivers from the community as a new pool of drivers with personal vehicles to help districts solve this problem. If you have a bus that has five kids on it, you might be better served putting those kids into you know, smaller vehicles, personal vehicles, and then using that bus driver on a route that has 40 kids that need to get to mm -hmm. schools. At CPS headquarters, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Just minutes ago, we did get some updated information from CPS. Nearly 3,200 families of students with disabilities and those also in temporary living situations will receive $500 a month from the school district to help get their kids to school.